everyone and welcome to our guide academy. Today you're going to learn how to write the proper text for a video and why do you have to imagine that you are telling a story to children. We'll start at the beginning. At first, you have to understand what do you want to tell people in your video? What kind of emotions do you want to convey? Writing a little script can help you with that. Think of it as a skeleton in the human body. Without it, nothing will hold together. And of course, to understand what emotions a person will have while watching a video, you have to figure out what emotions a place evokes for you. That's what the internet is for. Search for the events associated with the location. Whether it's the ruins of ancient civilization, add mystery to your video. If it's a zoo or a safari or a nature preserve, then the emotions in the video will be freedom and wilderness. And this is a rule you should always keep in mind. Your video is not a historical lecture. It's a story. And here are some tips to help you. Don't be a teacher. Be a clever and cheerful friend. In most cases, people will know nothing or very little about the location in your video. So it should be very clear and without any nerdy words that you may not know. And the last rule is that if you can get a child interested in your video, then adults will definitely love it. Believe me, it's not easy to strike a balance between funny and enjoyable and scientific and educational. Hi again. I've been thinking that uh, just talking about storytelling, text, about action in videos isn't enough. I have to show it. So I'm gonna show you my first and my last video. Of course, the last one isn't perfect, but I promise you will see the difference. So the first video is from the Toilet Museum. Quite interesting topic, isn't it? Who during cholera epidemic suggested using a bucket of soil for natural needs and throwing all the waste into a pit after using it. The inventors of flush toilets in the 19th century are all there waiting for us. First, let's talk about Thomas Twyford, who started two companies producing sinks and ceramic toilet bowls. And in 1884, he created a revolutionary flush toilet. It was a monolithic ceramic toilet that stood firmly on a pedestal and he called it Unitas, from Latin for unity. Now we're going to talk about Thomas Crapper, who founded Thomas Crapper & Co. in 1861 to sell and install plumbing products. He also improved, but as you may see, in this video are only facts and history. No action, no communication with the audience through camera, just facts. And here's my latest video, it's about art gallery. I know not everyone may like contemporary art, but at least I tried to make it understandable, first of all, and I hope quite interesting. Let's go to the philosophy and art, of course we can't be without it, and there is an installation in front of us, Fountain of Exhaustion. We are faced with a poetic metaphor that time is ruthless both to man in history and capable of destroying or erasing any event and so it forgotten. Twenty-eight empty bronze balls as a symbol of oblivion and thus of constant repetition of history. In this installation, life looks like a kaleidoscope of events that run in one after another, regardless of the near history. If 
we're talking about time now i want to take you into the past the delicate porcelain girl symbolizes the brutal memory of horrifying time in the history of ukraine the work is dedicated to the holodomor it looks like a fragile symbol of history that was never fully lived through any knowledge which unfolds before our eyes. The Holodomor was a genocide of Ukrainian people committed in 1932 till 1933. It was undertaken by the leadership of the Soviet Union in order to suppress the submissive Ukrainians and to finally destroy the Ukrainian opposition regime in Putin efforts to build a Ukrainian state independent of Moscow. In 1932-1933, were killed more than 7 million people in the Ukrainian SSR and 3 million of Ukrainians abroad in the regions which were historically populated by Ukrainian, Kuban, the North Caucasus, Lower Volga and Kazakhstan. In this video are more action impressions, personal impressions and my own emotions. You know, I wanna tell you that it's important not to give up if you think that you're not doing as well as everyone else. You can do it and it will work. Hi, it's Alex again. Half an hour ago, I was drinking my iced latte at the cafe and I realized that showed you how to create a beautiful video in interesting location. With the rich history, with beautiful view, it's too easy. So I want you to know that you can make something interesting and attractive with a simply copy run.